Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will show you an efficient way of adding dimension in Revit. Let's get started. When adding dimension, you probably add it individually by going to Annotate, Align, you probably select the grid lines or the openings. But there is an efficient way on adding dimension. Let me escape and delete these dimensions. So what you do is go to annotate, click align, and I'm going to place the dimension wall center. Pick will be entire wall and then click option. There are different kinds of options for this. So first, let's do opening and then centers and then press OK. I'm going to click this wall. And as you can see, the dimension is from the grid line to the center of an opening. So in this case, the opening of the door and this one is an opening for the window. So next, let's go back to option and let's choose width and then press OK. Again, click the wall. In this case, it will be from the grid line to the ends of the opening. In this case, the opening of the door and then opening of the window. Let's go back to option. I'm going to uncheck this openings and I'm going to check this intersecting wall. In this example, I'm going to click the wall again. This dimension will be from the grid line to a perpendicular wall. In this case, we only have one. So we only have two dimension. In this case, let's try and add another wall. I just want to show you the difference now. So what will happen next? We'll have three dimension from the grid line to this intersecting, from this grid line again to another intersecting, and then at the end, another one. So go. let's go to annotate, align. I'm just going to double check, entire wall, option, and intersecting wall. Choose this wall again. And there's a difference. We have three dimensions as this is an intersecting wall. Press escape. I'm just going to delete this and expand this a little. So next, let's go back to annotate, align, and option. Let's uncheck intersecting wall and check intersecting grids and then OK. 
click the wall. With this, it will be all the grid lines. Let's do this here as well. And then once you're done with this, you can always come, uh, go back to individual reference and you can have the overall dimension. Just like that. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.